Jacob is learning group, SATs. So let's go right into this. The global population learns that they should not drink from a lead pipe. The same population learns that they should not lick the polyvinyl chloride covered by brass, steel, zinc, iron, copper, or carbon steel. However, these same elemental metals may cause vegetational growth, and if too many of them are consumed, they may cause vegetational contamination. Excess elements may cause counterproductivity and declivity instead of growth. Many agriculturalists and biotechnicians argue that vegetational sabotage occurs due to many reasons. In Port Everglades, Florida, sedimentary movement causes vegetational sabotage. This type of sabotage causes erosion, climatic stress, animal displacement, and disease. This may be why we see sea turtles in South Floridian back yards. The benthic zone of the waterways does not support their habitat. Furthermore, the coral reefs are destroyed based on the mixture of metals which occur in the runoff from the ocean water into fresh water. Marine animals are not the only biological forms affected by the runoff. Arsenic is found in shellfish. Top chefs broil, boil, and bake shellfish. Any arsenic found in fish levels off to non-toxic levels after arsenic operands are heated. Thermal pressure also helps get arsenic and other metals out of tap water. Heat occurs in oceanic benthic zones, yet phytostabilization includes hydraulic control. The water needs control at all levels. Runoff occurs with hydraulic control, thermal, thermal pressure, and control of runoff. Estuaries, areas where fresh water and salt water mix, have been zones of concentration to reduce the chemicals. Total reduction does not occur, so why use operons on any chemical? The operons function as catalyzers or substrates would stop the negative effects of chemicals. Yet we need chemicals. Iron as a medicinal pill is needed to help our bodies remain strong. Iron at its highest levels may cause hemochromatosis. Too much iron in the blood causes diabetes, liver problems, and heart conditions. Yet water oxidizes iron so that the most caustic forms are erased. Iron has electrolytes, which include sulfide. The sulfur iron mixes with water and becomes a cation, okay, or a cation which usually becomes a positive change for the sulfide. Arsenic is found in shellfish. Other metals are found in marine plants. Yet who determines which plants will be manufactured for consumer distribution? How do food distributors know which plants are non-toxic and which ones are toxic? Labels help this dilemma. However, which plants are going to be manufactured for consumer distribution? When were the labels placed on the plants? Was the heat applied at the right temperature? We learned not to drink or eat food with toxic levels of chemicals. Yet chemicals live in the oceans from where we derive our food sources. Furthermore, atmospheric conditions either cause the chemicals to erode or to become edible. A hydrothermic machine located in Bangladesh emitted carbon dioxide into the ocean. These carbons were not emitted at toxic levels. However, they were emitted to prevent greater toxicity uh, chemicals into the benthic and coastal zones. Temperatures can make this CO2 a polymer or help the polymer to attach to other chemicals, making them stronger or weaker. Yet the chemical remains. Arsenic is found in shellfish. Other metals 
are found in marine plants, yet who determines which plants will be manufactured for consumer distribution? How do food distributors know which plants are non-toxic and which ones are toxic? Labels help this dilemma. However, which plants are going to be manufactured for consumer distribution? When were the labels placed on the plants? Was the heat applied at the right temperature? We learned not to drink or eat food with toxic levels of chemicals, yet chemicals live in the oceans from where we derive our food sources. Furthermore, atmospheric conditions either cause the chemicals to erode or to become edible. A hydrothermic machine located in Bangladesh emitted carbon dioxide into the ocean. These carbons were not emitted at toxic levels. However, they were emitted to prevent greater toxicity uh, chemicals into the benthic and coastal zones. Temperatures can make this CO2 a polymer or help the polymer to attach to other chemicals, making them stronger or weaker. Yet the chemical remains even if the chemical remains at its basic level. We cannot get rid of chemicals, but we can lower the toxicity and keep the food as a part of the human food web. We eat these elements even though we were told not to eat them. Okay, so let's look at this first one. What can most reasonably be inferred about the water toxicity plant in Bangladesh? And then the next one, the question is, what does the author indicate about the demand for hydraulic control? So let's go right into question one. Okay, so we took a hold of this paragraph here, and here's the situation. Here it says, a hydrothermic machine located in Bangladesh, but here it says toxicity plant, which is something really done that they will make that kind of... Uh, nomenclature mistake but anyway just in case they do you're gonna have to know how to make the connection and how to understand that these two words actually mean the same as these two words so anyway let's go delve right into the question what can most reasonably be inferred about the water toxicity plan Bangladesh the plan is in its novice stage of reducing toxicity okay so it talks immediately about carbon dioxide into the ocean. These carbons were not emitted at toxic levels. How they were, ever they were emitted to prevent greater toxicity chemicals into the benthic and coastal zones. Temperatures can make this CO2 a polymer to help the polymer attach to other chemicals, making them stronger or weaker. Yet the chemical remains, even if the chemical remains at its basic level. So do we say the plant erodes all chemicals in the ocean? No. And this word all is problematic because all is too broad. So we want to get rid of the word all. It's way, 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 way. And those are supposed to be quotation marks. But the word all is too broad in almost any uh, test that you take that has to do with aptitude, all is too broad, usually, and certainly here. Okay, they did not mention all chemicals, they mentioned CO2 and some of its other parts of CO2. Okay, the plant's administrators need to lower temperatures in the ocean. Okay, is this what they said about that? They said that they're about chemicals. It just said something real basic, like temperatures can make this CO2 a polymer to help the polymer attach. It really didn't get into lowering or making them higher. So this is kind of a question mark. It's also kind of out of scope because nothing was really ever said about this. It just said temperatures, and it kept this word temperatures in general. Okay, and the plant was established to make food more sustainable. Well, see, here's where you have to connect the dots. Okay, they didn't say lower. If they, ha if they had used the word here in C and said control, 
then you could say, yeah, that's the answer. The answer is C. But they didn't say control the temperatures. They made a specific assessment and said to lower it. Um, and if we go over A. It didn't say anything about the novice stage when we look at A. Um, it doesn't say anything about the stage it's in. It doesn't say if it's in the beginning stages or if it's in the end stages. If you read the article, which I'm going to show you in the bibliography, the plan has actually been around quite some time, but this article specifically does not say that. Now, we have to make a jump here because D is the correct answer. Um, and the jump that we have to make is that they're trying to make food edible. So let's get into this. If you control the temperatures, you have to go back to where it started from the beginning, that we wanted to make chemicals attach either to other chemicals to create substrates and get rid of toxicity, or you wanted to this, or you wanted to just uh, get rid of the chemicals or certain ones since you can't get rid of all of them. And then you have to make the gene that they're trying to make food more sustainable. And it's a big jump, but this is the only one that makes sense. So answer D is your correct answer. Okay, let's go on to question. So here's question two. Let's save some time, and let's just go straight into what the question is asking. Author, say, or indicate about the demand for hydraulic control. Okay, uh, we can find hydraulic control up here, and we can see this right here. Phytostabilization includes hydraulic control. If this word gets you confused, you should know that it's plant. I'm not going to say you should because we have people from different countries and um, most of them get the same Latin and Greek root words. They may pronounce it differently, though. And I'm not going to say should to anybody. If you didn't learn it or you forgot it, just try to think of what it means. And also think that it's really not that significant. You know, stabilization means to stabilize. Okay, so the water needs control at all levels. Runoff occurs with hydraulic control, thermal pressure and control of runoff, but it didn't ask for any of those, just ask for hydraulic control so we can go back and if we want to, we can take our time and circle this, although we don't really need to, it's kind of a waste. Now, next paragraph goes into hydraulic control, deals with estuaries or areas where freshwater and saltwater mix have been zones of concentration to reduce the chemicals. That might be our answer. So one of these, let's get into what is actually said. Is the demand for hydraulic control um, ever, was that demand ever asked about or said anything about this? I don't think this was said in this. Um, not in this article. Ocean thermal energy conversion system. So this is what I call too, too broad. Too much information, TMI, way too broad. Okay, so the demand for hydraulic control is part of the United States Navy's treaty. Where did we see the United States Navy's treaty? Another one, TB, TMI. Not enough information or too much information. We never said that. The demand for hydraulic control is based on the estuary's need for water instead of salt. Did they say that? Estuary is where salt water and fresh water mix. So water instead of salt. There's already water there. And probably a lot of salt. So wh wh what's this talking about? It's kind of out of scope. Okay, so... I'm going to say it's a scope question, and I'm going to go on ahead and say it is too out of scope, you know, out of, not in scope, okay? The demand for hydraulic control is based on the pressure to eradicate the chemicals in the water. This is the only thing we have left, okay? Uh, you guys remember your high school um, geology that you had runoff, off and this kind of stuff. Um, and you needed heat here, but you also needed hydraulic pressure. And hydraulic pressure sometimes involves gravity, and you need it to press the chemicals out and into the water, or out of the water or into however you use it. Hydraulic control is used to press water mixed with other chemicals 
in or out of a system, out of the water. Some of you remember hydraulic cars, uh, like the ones used in some of the movies on TV. It's just basically what it is, even if you don't know exactly what it is scientifically. Okay, so this is great. Have any questions, we're at jacobitslearning at gmail.com. By the way, uh, here's a bibliography where we got this information. We didn't just make it up. Here's some of the things here. There's a conversion plant in Bangladesh that actually exists. And transport pathways for arsenic and selenium. Uh, we got this here. Thank you for watching. Have a great afternoon.